and summer officially fires up next Monday, but residents are already feeling the heat. With temperatures rising, it's important to know how to handle the heat and what kind of resources are available out there. Joining us today with some helpful tips are Nancy Guzman, Information and Referral Specialist for Texas 211, and Sarah Saucedo, uh, Public Health Communication Specialist for the City Health Department. Thank you very much for being with us today. Thanks for having us. You know, our fourth triple digit day so far it's 99 degrees but we expect it to go climb up to 100 today um you know the normal and advice is you know uh, stay in the shade uh stay hydrated what else we always want to drink plenty of water mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so even though we don't feel thirsty we want to consume that water we want, we want to have it handy at our desks or whether we're traveling throughout the day in your vehicles always have that that water ready so that you can drink it's also recommended you avoid sugary drinks and alcoholic beverages because those can actually have the opposite effect in our body. Mm -hmm. So if you're going to stay hydrated, choose water. <laughs> that's <laughs> the best choice. Everybody says, I'm going to get a, a cold beer to, to stay hydrated, <laughs> but that's, that's the worst thing that you can possibly do, actually. Well, we, we, excuse me, we recommend water as yeah. the best choice to, to keep hydrated on these hot days. And, and wear light-colored clothing, and, you know, exactly. I think many, many times we kind of know what we're supposed to do and not do. Uh, but many times the elderly in our community aren't aware of even their bodies because their bodies are, are have slowed down and uh, don't feel feel a heat as much. What kind of tips do you have for them? Well, we also want to be a buddy during these hot times or actually during any extreme weather. So during cold we want to check on our friends and also during the heat we want to make sure that our friends, our families, our neighbors mm -hmm. are doing well. Those uh, senior uh, elderly folks that need assistance or people who are at risk uh, we want to make sure that they're doing fine during the hot days. So Nancy you can actually talk mm -hmm. about more resources that 211 can help with for those family and friends that might need it. Yes. So what, what are some of those resources? You can pick up the, the phone and call uh, 211 and 211. how will you be helped? Well, once you do call 211, an information and referral specialist will be able to give you uh, the information that you may need, whether you're looking for cooling centers, we can look up any centers in your area. Um, but we do recommend you to stay go to a location in your area where maybe it might be a public library, a recreation center, or maybe to the mall, just somewhere that has air conditioning to help you stay cool throughout the day. Oh, here's some safety tips. Connect with people uh, to resources. The most vulnerable to extreme heat, of course, are the elderly and the very young. You can request a free fan in the Extreme Weather Task Force. You know, a lot of people can't get to these malls or can't get to a cool place. Mm -hmm. What kind of tips do you have for them? Um, just make sure if you do need, like you said earlier, if you have you need, need the fan, just go ahead and give us a call. We'll take down your information and we'll be able to have the Extreme Weather Task Force see if you qualify for that fan and they may be able to deliver that to you. Uh, I also hear you guys uh, pleading for help uh, for fans to give to other people. Are you are you running any kind of campaign? I know you run bl bank blanket campaigns, but yes. do you, are you looking for fans and how can people out there help today? Yes, if anybody would like to donate a fan, they can go ahead and call us at 211 or they can donate it to any of the fire stations. Okay. Uh, for the elderly, uh, should they be aware and for the very young, uh, any other tips that you may have for them besides, you know, the, the, the water consumption and wearing light clothing and, and being staying in front of a fan? Sure. Well, those two groups are most vulnerable. We actually want to extend the recommendations to the entire community. Mm -hmm. So we want to stay hydrated, wear the loose, light-colored clothing. We want to visit the cooling stations, and we also want to make sure we plan outdoor activities early in the morning or later in the evening when the temperatures have cooled off. There it is. Stay hydrated, wear cool, light color clothing, outdoor activities in the morning or evening when the temperatures are cooler. I know that, you know, when I get home at 11 o'clock at night, I like, we like to go walking, so uh, we do that. Uh, visit libraries, recreation centers where there is air conditioning, and of course, you know, stay hydrated. Uh, thank you so much to both of you for coming in and for some, some tips. Hopefully, you know, people watching out there will have learned something so they can stay cool and, uh, and safe. Yes. most importantly in the summer. And we also want to remember our pets during this time. Yes, yes. So Bring them inside or, or just keep more water for them. Yes, yes, make sure they have access to shelter from or from the sun, so mm -hmm. a shady spot, and have access to water. Yes, lots mm -hmm. of water. How about ice for the pets? Um, there's different recommendations yes, on that, yes, so yeah. how that would be able to provide more info. Okay, yeah, but, but provide lots of water. Yes. Okay, <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you.